Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up, and today I'm going to show you an um, easy way to make any size uh, box to go with any uh, size of the card that you see on the punch board. The only one that I cannot do it's the last two the, for the card six by eight or six by eight and a half because I need to increase my paper by one and a quarter and that uh, go over 12 inch and I don't have paper over 12 inch. Uh oh, my tripod want to move here. Well, that is not good. Let me see if I can secure this here. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to show you a few size one, but the tip that I'm going to give you, it's going to go for any size on the board. This one here, it's for the regular size M, uh, cards. That's the A2 uh, size. And if you see, it fit perfectly. Voila. And you still have a little bit of room to play because your envelope, it's a little bit bigger than um, your... Um, card itself and if you see yes in the back I had screwed up a little bit so that's why when I glue I was not paying attention this one over here it's for what they call the uh, four bar that's the three and a half by five I want to say yeah three and a half by five so when I open it up in the back it fit perfect because your uh, box need to be a little bit bigger than your envelope or your card because if it's too much of the same then it don't fit nice it's too tight this one here we go so that's that size this one it's for the three by three cards the tiny little envelope and I thought that would be perfect to give a bunch of uh, little cards like to do the gift tag and again it's just go right in here fit perfectly fine and uh, this one I don't even know the size because I screwed up my measurement I guess and this is the size that I lined up with but uh, it would be perfect to put candy to if you don't have cards that you can put anything chocolate bar candy candy it's always good um, or even a little gift would fit perfect in those box so let's get started all measurement that I'm going to give you, it's all over here, but it's going to be a plus one and a quarter and one eight. So the, the magic numbers, I get glitter all over me because this was not dry. And I, let me wipe my hand. I just saw this here because I just finished making those box and I get some glitter on. So, um, the one and a quarter is going to be your bigger, uh, what you're going to increase your paper. So any place, let's say that the four and a quarter by five and a half. Remember, I don't like the A2 size. It don't go perfectly. So go four and a quarter by five and a half. That's our regular size cards that usually we do. So it's a eight by eight. So you increase one and a quarter around. So you you want always a square. So it would be nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter. Let's say you want to do the four bar. That is um, this one over here, the three and a half by five. That it's a right there, three and a half by five. It's seven and a quarter. By seven and a quarter so then it's going to be eight and a half by eight and a half you always increase your size paper going to get increased by one and a quarter so let's get started we're going to start with the smaller one first and um, the small that's the, the three by three so if you look on your board three by three it's a five and a quarter by five and a quarter you add one and a quarter gonna make six and a half and I pre-cut my paper six and a half by six and a half okay now you still follow the the card size okay you increase the one and a quarter it's say your measurement your first score I, I mean at two and five eight now you have to increase by one eight that's where I told you the one eight so five and one eight it tell you so you would bring that at two right it's two and 
three by three, two and five eight. You bring that at the two and five eight, and you increase one eight. It's going to be the next line over. So if you can remember your score, your first score, it's increase of one line. Never mind the one eight. If that confuse you, you increase it by one line. So you go there, score, punch. Now you increase one inch for your second score. So it was three quarter, right? Five eight. That bring it at two and three quarter. So three and three quarter, right here and punch again. Now you just follow your score. It's just the first one and then here and again here and again here. So all of the measurement it's the same. Your square paper need to be increased by one and a quarter and your first score it's one line over that it's one eighth. So now our little box it's done. And if you would follow exactly what it show, uh, you know, not increase the 1 8, then it's the same, same size than your envelope, so it would fit too tight. So and reinforce your score line all good. Here we go. Here we go. And now we're going to cut just the bottom one, cut there, cut there, and then the top, you want to get rid of that little square. The bottom, I like to keep it so it's uh, reinforced uh, when you close your box. And when I do box, I always use the red sticky strip. I don't even know where it is in this mess here. Um, I got it right here. You want to use this here, the red sticky strip, but to go faster, I will use my snail. So what you're going to do, fold your flap down here, fold this, then close this, Oops, one, okay, and close this. This one I don't have to take a tip off because it's okay that way. Most of them are going to take a tip off just because I don't like the peak. So you would put your red sticky strip there. When you close it, make sure you keep this straight. Really, it's when I put the tab. Here we go. Make sure this is straight. And this. And then voila. Oops, this one could have been tighter a little bit maybe. One thing it's good when you do snail, you can remove it. Here we go. So now you get your box. This one is too tight. Just make sure that you, um, when you glue, you're going to glue this straight. Right now I'm trying to hurry up and it's not at my advantage at all. Voila! So in the back, like this one is just a burlap that I'm going to slide and I think this is the one that I all smear my glitter there. I would just slide it off if I want to or when I open it up, I can slide it more down and voila! close it and then I just push it up. Or this one here, I put a brad. To know where to put the brad, you would have to do that before you glue. I would put my peak there, take a pin, do a little dot so you know that's where you're going to have to pass your brad. Poke your hole, put your brad, and then you get the bag so you can slide this in to keep your closer. So you would have to put your bread first, so then you know um, you know you can uh, close it good. Next one, and this one here, I just put it with a dimensional. So it, with a dimensional, it's easier because you just keep your box closed, and then you put the dimensional more in the bottom of your flower or your circle, whatever you choose, and then put that in the bottom, 
and voila. So now it's lift up a bit so you can slide your closer in the back. Okay, let's do another box quick, like this one I just did again with uh, dimensional. Put my circle, oops, voila, simple. Okay, next one, I'm going to do the bigger one now, so then you can see when it go off the board. Okay, this is for a regular size cards. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. It's a eight by eight. If you add eight with one and a quarter, it's gonna give you nine and a quarter. So my square, it's nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter. And my first score is gonna be at three and a half plus a line. So three and a half plus one line, it's three and five eight. Remember, it's one eight bigger, so it's um, one line. I'm gonna go here. See there, it, it's off the board. Can you see, or should I move this? Did I move that too much? So it go off the board. Punch this, but that's okay. Bring this back here. Go back at three and five eight. That's where we were. And finish your score here. So then you get your score. Now we were at three and five eight. We're gonna go at uh, four and five eight. So if you do, um, whoops, this was on this side, three and five eight. If you go bigger size, you know that it go past your uh, measuring uh, line. You just have to add a ruler and see where you're going. But that's about the max I would do here. Okay, now after we did the first two score, you just follow your score line. Whoops, you have to keep in the groove here. And then keep on going. And then I can turn it around again just to make sure three and five eight. Here we go. Still have glitter all over me. Oops, we're on this side. And then let's. Would be better if I would do my score over here. Don't forget to do your score. You're going to notice if you forget, just turn it around and do it. And it doesn't matter if you punch before or after, as long as you punch. Okay, now we get it all. Now reinforce this. And like I said, it's very important to reinforce very good. I'm just trying to brush here so you guys can see two different sides. Now you're going to go here. That's going to be our top. Remove it. Remove it. The bottom, we're just going to snip it, keep it there. This one here, that's where I don't like that this go on top. So I just need a little bit off. So the best thing to do is take your paper cutter and I just, and I go, that's too much. There, there, I'm going to go at two and a half. Make sure this is lined up, your score. Cut this off. And voila, now I would glue this. There. Okay, let's pretend this is glue. And voila, you get your box that fit perfectly with your envelope. See how simple it is? Now, if for when I like to give cards, usually I like to give more than, that would fit, I would say, about between six, depend on how many layer, maybe eight. I got another video how to do the, the thicker one. That was my first video on how to make box. So you can look at frenchystamps.com uh, in the search button, just do um, a, a card box with a punch board and this is gonna come up. But this here, it's for any size for about three quarter inch. 
uh, box. So again, your um, paper size is going to be one and a quarter bigger. Your first score line going to be one line bigger, so it is one eight uh, more. Time it's running out, so hopefully you learned something new. And uh, if you get any question, email me or come and visit me at FrenchyStamps.com. Thank you.